Now, you know how to solve a problem when you're given the velocity and the degrees. Now we're going to be given the distance and the degrees and asked to find the velocity. What you got to do is you just got to start doing it. So we got we need some uh, you know vertical stuff, right? So we're going to write some vertical equations. Well, the first thing we got to do is we got to you know v y equal equals v sine forty. So v y equals v sine forty, and we don't know v, so just v. And the sine 40 is 0 0.643. 0 0.643. All right. And we could also do the same thing over here at horizontal. This is always the first thing we do. Vx equals V cosine 40. So Vx equals V. Because I don't know it. Um, cosine of 40 was 0.766. Okay. 0 0.766. All right. So the next thing that we always did was we came and we did a uh, VF equals VI plus AT, right? To find the half time. Okay. So let's do that. So we know at the top it's zero. We know our VI in this case, we don't actually know it, but I wish that would go away. But, oh, come on. But we do know that it's this. It's V times 0.643. Okay, so we just put in 0 0.643 V minus 9.8 T. Okay. We know that. That's good. And we also know over here we tend to use DF equals DI plus plus VT plus one half, you know, AT squared. Right. And we know that we're usually trying to find DF and that we start at zero. And oh wait, we actually know DF, right? Hey, in this case, it's 50 meters, and we start at zero, and our velocity is, oh, we don't really know it, but it's um, 0 0.766 V, and then we're going to multiply that by T, all right? And then we're going to add to that zero. Now... You got to remember something though here. The T over here is half time. The T over here is all the time. So we got to put a two there. Or you could have put a one half over here. That would have been fine either way. Um, so, all right, I've got this that says V and T and this that says V and T. So now, what do I do? Um, where do we, so let's just clean this one up a little bit more. Oh, come on. Let me clean this up. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. So we have 50 equals 0 0.766. B, U, T. I'm just getting rid of zeros. All right. Um, pretty much now we're just going to do math. We have to solve for T or V. Take your pick. Doesn't matter. In one of the equations, doesn't matter. We're solving by substitution. Um, so then we would then solve for one or the other and then put it in to the other side and one of the variables will go away and come up with an answer. So if we actually want V, we don't want to leave V there, so we're going to solve for T. Otherwise, if we solve for V, we're going to substitute in for V and not have V in our answer. So we will have negative 0 0.643 V 
equal to negative 9.8 t because I subtracted the 0.643 v, and then I'm going to, then I'm going to divide by 0.643. I'm going to divide 0 0.643 by 9.8. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. 0.643. So we want this 0 0.643 divided by 9.8, and it's 0 0.0656. So 0 0.0656. And I've got to remember to always put a zero in front. 0 0.0656 V equals P. And I know what T is. It's 0 0.0656 V. So I take this and I put it in here over for T. Yeah, that's, all, that, that's what we do. That's how you solve for substitution. So 50 equals... You know, I want to make sure I get some nice parentheses around. 0 0.76 0 V times 2 times t, and then t is this point zero six five six zero point zero six five six v All right. So um, v, uh, I just got multiplies here, so really that's just going to be a, a v squared, right? 50 equals v squared. Times some number here, and the number happens to be 0.766 times 2 times 0 0.0656. So you get your calculator out and you do that. So 0 0.0656 times 2 times, was it the 766? I can't remember. Yep, 766. 0.766, and we get 0.1005. Point one zero zero five. Awesome. Solve for v squared. So divide by you know point one zero zero five. So fifty divided by point one zero zero five. Fifty divided by point one zero zero five. I got four hundred ninety seven point five. Four hundred ninety seven point five equals v squared. Well, then you just take the square root. All right. Square root of this number. And the square root of that number happens to be 22.305. So 22.305 equals B. That's what we do. So again, we, we just get started. We, we, we set up, okay, VY, VX. They've got a V in them. That's okay. Not a big deal. We then get our vertical equation that's got time involved in it. And then we get our horizontal equation that's time involved in it. Okay, we've got two unknowns in an equation. That's okay because we've got two equations that have the same unknowns. We solve for one of the unknowns. Since I want to get V, I'm going to solve for T. And then I just take that answer, substitute it in over to the other one, and then do the algebra. So we came up with 22.305 at 40 degrees. 22.305 at 40 degrees will land at 49.96 meters. So, we did it. We found it. Awesome. So, that's how you do that. That's how you find V. You just start going. You, you just put numbers, and you have some unknowns, okay. But when we get two unknowns, we get two equations, and we kind of mash them together and get one equation, and we solve. Ta-da!